Our Corner Grocery Store by Joanne Schwartz, illustrated by Laura Biengessner. Saturday is my favorite day of the week. I spend every Saturday at my Nono, Domenico, and Nona Rosa's Corner Grocery Store. It's early in the morning when I arrive. Mrs. Meal is out walking her dog. Once in a while a car goes by, but mostly it's quiet. The neighborhood is still asleep. Nono Domenico is busy getting ready for his customers. Buongiorno, he says. Are you all set to work, Anna Maria? Nona Rosa hugs and kisses me and hurries me into the kitchen behind the store. You must eat a good breakfast if you are to help your Nono and me all day. We all have jobs at our corner grocery store. At 8 o'clock, we open the store. Nona Rosa turns on the lights and unlocks the door. Nono Domenico arranges the fruit and vegetables on the wooden racks. I run outside to help him. On one side, we have the apples, oranges, pears, bananas, and strawberries. On the other side are tomatoes and cucumbers, broccoli, and green beans. I make sure everything is in neat rows while Nono Domenico writes the prices on little cardboard signs. There are only two short aisles in our corner grocery store. When I come inside, I have to close the door before I can get to the counter. If I walk down one aisle and come back up the other, I have made a little square and I'm right back where I started. The store is tiny, but the shelves are packed with many surprises. Sometimes when I visit, Nono has brand new paint sets with six round pots of color and tiny paint brushes. Today, I see birthday candles and party hats. Umbrellas and shoelaces hang from the ceiling. Flat, round pizza pans are stacked up high on the shelf and bright yellow sponges dangle in the window. The sun has climbed higher in the sky. The bread delivery has come and it's my job to sort it on the shelf. There are crusty buns for sandwiches and long sticks called baguettes that look like swords. There are round loaves like donuts with holes in the middle and chewy cornbread that looks like big flat stones. That's Nona Rosa's favorite, and I take one to the kitchen so she can have a slice with her morning coffee. My friend Charlie comes by with two big pieces of fat chalk. We draw pictures all along the sidewalk, from the store to Charlie's house and back. At noon, the store is filled with hungry kids. Everyone in the neighborhood loves my Nono Domenico's sandwiches. He asks them what kind they would like. Provolone, please, someone calls. Mortadella and Havarti for me, somebody else says. Nono Domenico switches on the, the slicing machine and thin round circles of meat or cheese fall onto the scale. He piles them on a crusty bun and wraps the sandwiches to go. When the busy lunch hour is over, Nono makes a sandwich just for me. I bite into it and crumbs scatter over my shirt. The creamy cheese and salty meat taste fresh and delicious. By 3 o'clock, the milk truck arrives. The side door slides open and I see crates of milk stacked high. While Nono is busy with the delivery, a group of friends comes in for an afternoon treat. I stand beside Nona Rosa and watch them talking and laughing. They crowd around the counter looking at the candy. There are super sour sticks, strawberry yummy yums, candy necklaces, licorice, lollipops, and bubblegum. I look at Nona Rosa. She winks at me and then I know I can pick something too. At 4.30, Nona Rosa starts dinner. Today, I stand beside her on a big wooden chair and stir the vegetables in the pot. 
good smells drift into the store. When customers come in, they smile and say, Oh, what is Rosa cooking tonight? Nono says she is making stuffed mushrooms and then he tells them how to do it. Scoop out the insides of the mushrooms and saute them with breadcrumbs, garlic, herbs, and onions. Mix in grated cheese and a beaten egg to make it stick together. Then stuff the mixture back into the mushroom caps and bake them in the oven. Nono Dominico brings his fingers to his lips and kisses them. Mmm, delicioso! Scoop out the insides, chop them up, add the garlic, breadcrumbs, and cheese, stuff into caps, bake. Mmm, delicioso! At five o'clock, there are lots of people in the store. Nono Dominico and Nona Rosa and I are very busy. There is a lineup, but nobody minds. Everyone says, hello, ciao. Nice to see you, Rosa. How are you, Anna Maria? Nono weighs the fruit and vegetables. I pass the bags to Nona, and she works the cash register. Nono Dominico tells everyone that lettuce is only a dollar now, and the strawberries are two pints for the price of one. After dinner, kids come in for dessert. In the hot weather, the freezer is full of cold treats. The freezies stand like tall colored pencils, red, yellow, blue, and purple. There are ice cream sandwiches, drumsticks, and popsicles. As I poke around, the cold air cools my face. I choose two blue freezies, one for me and one for Charlie. Then I skip down the street to his house. We sit on the steps, slurping the sweet blue juice and telling each other stories. When we are finished, I wave goodbye to Charlie and run back to the store to help clean up. All the buns are gone and so is most of the bread. We sold lots of tomatoes and lettuce today and every single box of strawberries. There won't be many more customers now. One comes late for a bit of sliced meat, another for some juice and cookies. Mrs. Meal is the last. She buys three bananas and some milk while I watch her dog. I tell him he's I tell him he's a good boy and he wags his tail back and forth. Then they are gone. I sit alone and watch the sunset. The neighborhood is quiet again and I am sleepy after my busy day. Nono sees me yawn and calls me in. He turns off the lights and locks the door. Our corner grocery store will open again tomorrow. But for now, Nono Dominico, Nona Rosa and I are saying good night. Ciao. That's Italian. The end. Thanks for listening, everyone. Please don't forget to subscribe to Katie's Bookshelf Classroom. Thanks, guys. Bye.